something. Something did that. That's... And I cut it off and save it. But if you look at this, I mean, you tell me what in the world has a bike that big and at least that long. Man, I, I that's can, a coyote, I don't want to meet it. I don't want to meet it either. Yeah. regarding cat people and secret government installations. That's what we're hearing about. We're gonna go to a, a bar called Scotty's uh, Old Town. No, we'll, we'll, we'll find out what it is, but apparently they're haunted too. There's a lot going on out here at Booth, Texas, which ironically runs parallel to Sugarland. It's a hop and a skip from Houston, but it feels like we're out in the middle of nowhere. I'm here with my boy, Rodney. Up. And we're gonna go get to the bottom of this. Let's go investigate what this government installation and cat people situation is all about. So uh, let's go see what's going on out there. Uh, Booth, Texas, which is, which is the speck in the map. So let's go check it out and see what we can find on our first, very, very first installation of Paranormal Road Trip Quick Hit. Here we go. Let's go check it out. Booth, Texas. Just a speck on the map, but in reality, a hop and a skip away from the Sugarland, Richmond, Rosenberg area, and right down the highway from Houston. It was named after Freeman Irby Booth, a wealthy landowner who owned a cotton gin, a general store, a lumberyard, a syrup mill, and he founded the settlement in the 1890s. By 1914, Booth had a population of about 300, but by the 1990s, there were only about 60 residents left, and some good urban legends, and some good ghost stories. So let's go check out Booth, Texas. Hey, Ronnie, here we are at Scotty's at the old trading post in Booth, Texas. Uh, we came earlier, uh, not too long ago, we shot some video. There's some weird stuff that's going on here. The cat people, and also they, they're claiming it's haunted. Before we start, before we actually go through this, check out what, what they said and the interviews that yes. we got, yeah. what's going on here so you can get a little quick background. And uh, in the meantime, we're gonna go swing by the flying cow and we're gonna get some quick burgers in. But yeah, there's some weird things going on here at Scotty's, at, at Booth, Texas, in Booth, Texas. Yes, Booth, Texas, if you haven't heard it, like you said, it's a speck on the map. I mean, literally, we're a a great hopping a skip away from, from Sugarland area, from the Richmond, Rosenberg yeah. area, from Houston. It runs parallel on 59. It's like, yeah, you get away. You feel like you're away. There is a separation. And you also have a resident alligator. So oh, yeah, yeah so check it out. That. That's another reason why I'm looking over my shoulder because all it is is just a little thin wire fence. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to have a couple beers and then we're going to go and swing by the flying cow. So let's go check it out, people. And, uh, and then we're going to go explore the mysteries behind the ghosts, the cat people, the government installations of Booth, Texas. Here we go. I'm Dina. Dina. I'm one of the owners. One Scotty's. of the owners. Uh, Scotty's Scotty. my husband. Scotty's your husband. Okay. Yes. I talked to him before. Okay. And uh, he, he actually showed us a tarp that he had. Yes. That was all torn up. And he told us about legends of cat people out here. Yes. We've heard that. Uh, my son-in-law is one of the ones that is actually a big believer and educated us on it. Oh, okay. Because he grew up out here. There's what? a government installation. And the, the way the story goes is back in the early 1900s, they started doing basically experiments on humans to turn them into superhumans, almost like what you see in the in the Marvel world today. Yeah. Uh, but they turned these people into what they call cat people. They're like a mix. 
but they're fast or this or that and supposedly they escape the government facility and they run around out here wow. how many of them i don't know there is a government facility back there to this day it is fenced off like area 51 you cannot wow. get in it that's what we heard yes do you know exactly where it's at yes I, I hear it. it's it's just down the road but it, it's amazing but the property here has got so much history i mean it's just yeah. such rich history out here and i mean even to the we went into the house back here and kind of did a an impromptu little thing with some friends and i mean we talked to a guy named william uh -huh. gave us his name they wow. walk the property all the time they're out here would so, you say this area this your bar would you say you may also have activity here? Absolutely. I mean, you saw the pictures. Yeah, the picture. Yeah. Yeah. There's activity all the time out here. Wow. Um, I mean, one night we were out here with some friends. We were closed for business, and we were playing card game. Okay. Um, and it was on a Monday night because we're closed, and we're playing a card game. And me and the girls got up and went to the restroom, and we had these tables. And you see how the chairs are pulled out right now? Uh -huh. We had all the chairs pushed up underneath there. We went to the restroom. We came back. They were all pulled out. So we pushed them all back. And we're like, well, that was weird. So we went and sat back down, we're playing our card game. We got back up to go back to the bathroom about an hour later, they're all pulled out again. Uh -huh. So we thought, okay, that's weird. So we pushed them back before we went to the restroom. Yeah. We came back out from the restroom and they were pulled out again. Wow. Um, wow. Yeah, there's there's definite activity out here. Uh, nothing that I would consider evil, but, yeah, I, yeah, you know, but I just think there's, I, I think, you know, that uh, well, for whatever reason, their souls are tied to this land. So William in in the house said uh -huh. he fell down the stairs and died. Oh really? Yes. Wow. Yes. And we asked if you know were you killed? And a friend of mine had some EVP equipment and stuff, and they were talking to him through it, and you could hear him. And I went and sat on the stairs, and uh -huh. uh, I was sitting on the stairs next to Courtney, and she said uh, we were saying, you know, come back and visit with us. Sure. Come back and visit with us, and all of a sudden you heard on their uh, equipment move over. Oh wow. So I was like, all right, well I got you know. <laughs> everything all the way up to the back side of that house uh -huh. this is the original trading post yeah that, that building that is building 100 right years old wow we'll be having events and all the lights are out and all of a sudden the light is on and uh -huh. a couple of people have come up to me and said you know who's that lady staring out that door and i look over there and i don't see anything but wow. they do yeah and so i guess they're a little more sensitive sure sure uh, and i'm like oh, I, I think guess. I, I heard that story before of somebody she just saying watches that. out the door yeah that's that's spooky <laughs> yeah <laughs> We're here at the Flying Cow, yeah. man, and the burger, I've been here before, the burgers are freaking awesome, and I want to know exactly why they're so good, so can you tell us really quick what mm -hmm. the Flying Cow is about, why is it so, so good? So, um, the Flying Cow is a farm-to-table restaurant, um, we get our cows directly from across the street on our land, we raise them there. They're grass fed. Um, they get like massages. They're like different from regular cows. Like they're they're living the life. <laughs> they have a better life than we are. Oh Jeez, man. Well, I'm gonna go hang out at that pasture. <laughs> what is the beef? That, so last time I came, they said something about the beef that was it's. What is it? It's wagyu. So That's it's a it yeah. So it's a Japanese cow. Oh. Um, it's a little bit um, similar to Kobe beef. So yeah, it has a lot more marbling into it. Yeah. I'm getting hungry. Let's let's get our order in and let's do it. Here we go. That was good, man. How was the burger? I think I just, yeah, I just fucking gained my... I think, 
You're, you're massaging the cow again, man. Ooh, you're, yeah, move, <laughs> move. <laughs> man, that's freaking, that was good, man. The flying cow, you guys need I to like hit it. it. Especially on a day like this. How beautiful is this weather? It's How perfect is this? Gorgeous. It's like the day after Christmas. Just to give you an idea, a frame of reference of when we're doing this. Man, it's 70. It's a, cool it, was, it was about like day. 70 degrees, 71 degrees or something like that. Man. man. Dry, it's, not humid. Oh, it's perfect. What a perfect day. But now that we got our bellies filled, man, let's go look for this government installation. I'm what do you ready. think? I'm the Cat Lady Bridge and see if we can see some cat people. Yeah. Let's go check it out. Come on, guys, let's go look for it. Here we go. Driving down these rural roads, we were told that the road leading to the government installation would be a dead end, and there were actually quite a few of them. So we are on the search for this one road that ends that leads to this government installation. All right, maybe we should turn around. This looks like private property, yeah. not government installation property. So we're just gonna bust a quick U here because uh, we know what private property is probably a lot more dangerous than government's yeah. installation property. Yeah, they usually shoot first and ask questions. Yep. Right Although, it's a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's probably just a big old ranch. Try one of these other roads. Alright, All right, yeah, we're gonna try a different road. That definitely didn't look like a government installation road. So let's let's see what the next one takes us to. Here we go. According to one of the urban legends, one of the train engineers had witnessed a humanoid cat-shaped person running at superhuman speed right next to the train. We're driving down this road. I'm just gonna give it a shot. We don't even know exactly which road it's on. Uh -uh. Just kind of giving it a, a whirl and see if we pick the right road and see if this road takes us to the uh, secret government installation. <laughs> so, yeah, let's see. Hopefully we won't get uh, abducted or... We started arrested. hearing banjo music. All right, I'm out of here. You know what, I'd rather hear the fucking uh, cop sirens and fucking yeah, banjo music. Yeah. <laughs> you got some pretty lips. <laughs> hey, boy. <laughs> All right, let's keep looking. Here we go. Well, we haven't found the uh, hidden secret government facility no. road yet, but we came across this uh, this church out here that looked like it has an old cemetery or graveyard. And this is an actual graveyard. This is what graveyards are, are the ones that were located next to a church. Yes. That's what uh -huh. differentiated graveyards from cemetery. So uh, we're just gonna walk around and check it out. Uh, it looked pretty cool and in a day like this, man, it's just, Oh, too yeah. nice <laughs> too nice not to get out of the car and yeah. walk around a bit well, i'm sorry it's called thompson cemetery actually thompson cemetery. So thompson cemetery cool so. beautiful small little little graveyard we're going to check it out real quick before the sun goes down so let's go check it out here we go
Hey, look at this. What do you think? Hogs or the cat people? Ooh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it could be. It could be hogs. All right? I think. Look at this. I think it's the cat people. It's probably hogs. Since we had no luck finding this secret government installation and we're quickly losing light, I think it's time to head back at Scotty's Saloon at the old trading post. Well, actually, we're, we're back to Scotty's old trading post after looking for uh, the government installation road, which we didn't find. But you know what? I forgot to mention earlier, there's this old schoolhouse out there in the middle of a field. It's really cool looking, I and saw uh, that. That yeah, was really cool. we we I was lucky enough to get a little quick tour out there right in front of it. So before we get back to this, check this out. So you can man, it's beautiful old school, beautiful old school. Check it out. If you ever come out here, just respect private property. Oh, definitely. You know, don't be sneaking yeah. in, but you know it, it's beautiful. And uh, if you really want to take a close look at it, <laughs> watch this video instead of trying to you know break the law and yeah. sneaking out private property. So check this video out. Here you go. So, what do you think of Scotty's old trading post, man, out here in Booth, Booth, Texas? Booth, Texas. I'm After sorry. He took a nice shot. <laughs> Whatever room this is, it's chilly out here, so it's this gonna is warm them up. Warm my ass. Up. <laughs> okay. Sorry for my family that's watching this. I do apologize. So. Hey. Anyways, go ahead. Gotta warm. Gotta get warm. What, what do you think of up. Scotty's old trading post, man? What, what do you think? It. It's a great little place. Uh, great atmosphere. The uh, people are very friendly. Uh, I'll talk to you. Actually, we got some good some information, more information after um, uh, impromptu. Yeah, driving around looking for. Actually, we were looking for, for the, the government installation. installation. We didn't find it, but we found we found a Texas battleground on the map. That's what it Who shows. Who would have known? It, it shows, shows on, on the map. On the map, that's Texas battleground. And it took us to this uh, actually a gorgeous looking Victorian style home. Beautiful. That old. is, we were lucky enough that it's uh, for sale by owner. 
and uh, no, the, nobody lived in it. So we Spooky actually as hell, like it's woods surrounded by woods. Very much and, so. Uh, yeah, yeah. We drove around, and it looks like it's back in some woods on the same property as this. So we had no idea there was actually a Texas battleground in Booth, Texas. So there is history out there, and we were asking around if anybody knows. And people out here have never heard of Texas battleground. Uh -huh. So maybe you guys, anybody out there who knows Booth, Texas, or the history in this area, yes. maybe you guys can tell us what is Texas Battleground and what is this connection to this house because it is for sale but there's the uh, the old uh, crossing the river crossing oh yeah the, the uh, uh, Thompson Thompson? uh, Thompson's barge uh, or Thompson's Landing Thompson's, Thompson's Landing, Landing. Uh, actually one of the guys here uh, Scott's told us about it uh, Thompson's Landing it's actually uh, is a ferry barge that uh, helped ferry Sam Houston's army across the Brazos River because we're like a couple of miles, oh, mile yeah. and a half down from the Brazos oh, River. Oh yeah, this place does feel like there's a lot of history here, yes. but to find out, we, we weren't even expecting it. And then the connection of the Thompson Cemetery. And then that the we, Thompson yes. Cemetery that y'all got to explore with us, yeah. that is connection, it's all connected the same connected to, to the family and uh, everything. Thompson's Landing. How cool is that? It was crazy. Man, you see, and, and that's, that's another thing why taking these road trips oh, and, man, and exploring yeah. and talking to people is so important important and that's what paranormal road trip is all about explore talk to people get to know the area don't just go in and out and oh, investigate man. go and explore the area there's so much to find here as much as i enjoyed it the uh the burger the uh, the burger joint the oh god cow, flying cow was flying cow was and Check thank you uh carmen who helped us yes. out there told us exactly why their burgers are so special and exactly. and they are special they are oh they my are god very, <laughs> it was one of the best burgers i've so had and good. i've had a lot of burgers in my life if you ever visit the uh, sugarland richmond area yes uh if you ever driving by to go to houston and you swing by sugar just make a quick detour and hit Booth the Texas. flying cow boot texas ah worth you won't it. regret it absolutely worth it, worth it. absolutely worth it so guys. good but yeah we didn't find the uh, government no. installation we didn't find it what, what do you think the cat people out here what the, the legend of the cat people i'm not sure i think it, it it's good sticking as a legend because we did find some uh ground rooting up and everything so uh could be hogs it could yeah, be it hogs. like hogs uh, it could be but hogs. there was a lot of ground in the cemeteries where yeah. we found it which is weird which is unnatural but yeah. i've never seen that before but still you never know no you're gonna watch some of the footage that uh i showed earlier and you know some of the things are unexplained we can't explain it and and that's going to lead to one of the uh, talking points we wanted to talk about it's just because right. we can't explain it doesn't mean we automatically assume it's anything paranormal or supernatural right. there is no proof i mean there, there's legends of here of the government experimenting on people and they came up with cat people yeah. which is a good story but is there any truth behind it mm -hmm. you know they're, they're great urban legends but until there's actual proof and, and evidence uh -huh. we can't assume that cat people really exist probably hogs probably probably hogs or Texas, bobcats who or knows bobcats. They got, yeah they got stuff out here like so, that too, so it does make it interesting man i strongly recommend coming out here yeah and, and exploring whether it's the cat people or a government installation or not it just makes for a good story you know but it's always always good right. to keep a skeptical mind until you have all the evidence you know so it's good to be uh debunking stuff which kind of leads us to a group that we belong to and and some yeah. people that we follow on youtube which we strongly recommend yes. debunking youtube channels that we yeah. follow and it's the shape uh, very very logical rational and funny debunking exactly and then there's another one called rick's debunks which by the way i'll provide a link for both of these guys on there they, they do an amazing job breaking stuff down rationally logically yeah. and they're not hating these guys no, are not. not hating channels because they actually give yeah. props where props is due for legitimate right. uh, investigators right. which is good you know like if the fakers did legitimate uh paranormal investigating then they would probably be like hey good job guys here you go word so hope you guys enjoyed this we didn't find the cat people we didn't find the government installation but we found great burgers great burgers great people great beer and an awesome great cemetery in a texas yeah. battleground man so we're just gonna enjoy the rest of this beautiful evening guys we we hope you enjoyed the first rendition of paranormal quick hits and guys stay safe stay healthy 
We love you guys, and and please click the like, subscribe, comment because it's not a gonna, not only gonna help us, no. it's gonna help out the places that we go exactly. to. We want you guys to come visit. We want other people to know about these places that we go go to, and we also 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 want to increase the awareness of the history of the places we go to. Very much Can't so. forget about the history, guys. So thank you so much, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Ghosts, cat people, secret government installations. Oh my, take two. Let's take try two. this again. <laughs>